Hey guys, so today is going to be a really exciting video. I have gotten requests on this pretty much since I had Maddie and you know seven months later I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm on a video kick now. Normally I would film this kind of video in her nursery except it's really late at night and she's asleep already. So today is going to be a what's in my heavy diaper bag. This is the diaper bag from, the convertible diaper bag from Vera Bradley. I forget what the print is called, but it looks very eerily similar to, because it's the same print, hint, hint, to my um, hospital bag. My That one is the weekender bag. I forget what the print, I, like I said, I will leave a, a link to it down below. I actually got this for my baby shower. My best friend Tara got it for me, and I love, love it. It's so, like, just outlandish, pops of color everywhere. It's gorgeous. I am in love with it. I've gotten so many compliments on it as well and this convertible baby bag is perfect. So the reason that it's so heavy right now is because I actually have shoved everything in here that I would have carried at one point. I don't carry as much in it right now but that's just because she's older and I don't require as much but I put anything that I've ever carried in it before if that makes sense. So <laughs> The good thing about the baby bag, it's like I said, awesome. It has two side pockets here, which I carry baby bottles of water in it, um, like the, the distilled water for her bottles. I um, love this aspect of it because you can also put bottles here and another baby bottle. I formula feed, if you don't know that, if you don't follow my channel, um, I formula feed, I tried to breastfeed for like the first month and I just my supply completely dried up. So if you're a breastfeeding mom, your diaper bag will look a lot different than mine, um, but if you're a formula fed mom, this fits everything perfectly. I just, I love, love this baby bag. I cannot say enough good things about it. I have on clipped on the outside here the uh, Passy holder. I think this was like 10 or $15 by itself, but it has a magnetic closure, and inside of it, Maddie never has taken a pacifier. She's just never taken one. Even when she was very, very tiny, just a few months old, she would always spit it out. She did not like it. So what we have in there right now is a teether passy, which if I can pull it out. Okay. I forget what the brand of this is, maybe Mam, but you can see it has a hole in it and it has all these rubber particles on each side. So it's shaped like a passy, but it's for teething. And I have it on this super adorable passy clip that I got from Babies R Us. So this is nice because it keeps everything contained. Um, and then I have wipes that I can just wipe it off if she's going to actually use it. And then on the front of it here, it has a flap. I know because of the print, it's hard to tell, but it has a flap in the front. This is the print that's on the inside. It's like a cloth material. It actually comes with its own changer, which I do not use this changer because it's for one white and for two it's just very inconvenient to have it separately. I have a different changer I'm going to show you that I carry around with me, but this is super cute. It's just like a clothy material, has the same print on it, and it's very easy to clean because it has that like nylon material. So it's a cute little feature, but like I said, it's just not practical for me. I do leave it in there in case of emergencies though. And that top also is magnetic. So, and then on this side here, there's two pockets. On one of them, I keep a travel container of wipes because you never know when you're gonna need wipes, not just for changing diapers, but just in general. Emmy is gonna be five in November, and she still uses baby wipes. So they're always nice to have, and I just I'll continuously refill this and put it back in the front of the bag. On the other pocket, or in the other pocket, I have a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna pull it out. This is like my in case of emergency pocket like in case I leave home with not enough crap and it's accumulated so much since she's been born <laughs> like she does not need mittens anymore but there's mittens in here from months and months ago this is something that like we would have pairs here upstairs downstairs in the bag this is just in case we left home without this kind of stuff I have pick pick your bow here I've got pink navy blue light pink, hot pink, yellow, and another light pink. See, that's ridiculous. Like, I would stuff one bow in there and then forget which color I'd have, so I'd stuff another bow, or sometimes she'd be wearing a bow, and, you know, her head's kind of big, so it would be irritating her, so I'd take it off and stuff it in the bag. So, yeah, there's that. We also had a hat, which this no way would fit her anymore, but I did carry it at one point because... 
again if it was chilly or something and she was just a newborn this would be nice to carry I have her Easter socks in here which are so stinking cute they have little bunnies on them again one of those things like if she got hot I would just have them actually I have two other pairs of socks that again that that um, pocket of the bag was just kind of a catch-all um, of little accessories and stuff like that in case she needed it on the back of it I have a there's like this little hook back here um, I have an antibacterial hanging off of it. The reason they call this a convertible bag is because you can use it as a top handle here. You can use it as a crossbody, which I always use, or like a side, a long side strap. Or you can hook it as a backpack, which I've never done nor really know how to do something about these hooks back here. And this one, I would never do that because this is heavy. Um, but it is nice to have that option. Okay, so the reason that I'm saying that I packed everything in here that I would have normally taken at one point is because we've switched bottles quite a bit. When she was first born, we were using um, the MAM bottles, the, the smaller ones of five ounces, and she started to not like these, so we switched it up to a few different bottles since then, and so I just decided to show you every bottle that I've ever carried in the bag. So to start off with these bottles, we did buy them gender neutral so that we could use them in the future and just replace the nipple because bottles are so expensive. These are the MAM and you can buy them at, I honestly think Babies R Us started, started to sell them now and Target, Walmart. We bought them online because when we first had Maddie, no one sold them in stores. You can only buy them from Walmart's website. So they have various colors. I think there's like a pink, purple, blue, like a uh, lavender, light lavender, a mint green. We just went with the basic yellow and white. Again, gender neutral. This is the nine ounce bottle now because she's bigger. She drinks six ounces at a time, not five ounces anymore. So this is awesome because the bottle comes apart and it has a stopper here. So it's completely cleanable um, as far as not getting any type of mildew or anything like that. As long as you take all the parts, all the parts apart, it works great. Um, the cap actually doubles as a measuring cup. It goes up to two ounces, which again is amazing. Like that's awesome. It's actually self-cleaning. So you put the nipple and stuff in there like this. You fill up the um, top with two ounces of water. You pop the lid over it like that or something like that and it self-cleans itself so you don't have to sterilize it in one of those bags. Although every time we've sterilized the bottles has been been in one of the Medela bags, um, you could definitely self-sterilize which is awesome, an awesome feature. Then when she started to not like these bottles, for some reason the nipple is shaped, I forgot to show you, the nipple is shaped kind of different. It's like a um, flat nipple. I don't know if you guys can see. It's not rounded, so it almost looks like a passy would. Um, so I, I don't know if it was that that was confusing her. She just didn't really like it. So we switched over to the Tommy Tippies, which these my mom got us for our ba for the baby shower, so they're pink. Um, I have water in it right now uh, for bottles and stuff like that. This is the nine fluid ounce, but again, we had this, the shorter ones when she was smaller. Um, these are nice because they're just simple. It's just a bottle with a nipple, and the nipple is supposed to be like really great like shaped like a, a mom's nipple. So that's supposed to help if you are supplementing with formula and stuff like that. She likes them, she liked them. Now she's kind of like eh about them because on the fast nipple, she's like not getting the food fast enough, so it kind of frustrates her. But I do carry them still in case of emergencies. And then also when I was breastfeeding, we had these came with our Medela pump. Um, the smaller version came with them. So when she when we found out that she liked the smaller version, we bought the bigger version. These are huge. <laughs> They're eight ounces, but they just look like such a huge bottle. But they work really well. They're easy because you just have to throw water in them, and they have simple parts, just a um, a liner, a nipple, and a top, and that was it. And the nipples are really easy to replace, and it was just a nice bottle. So she, we alternate kind of between the three of these now. She'll take any of them. Um, it doesn't really matter. She doesn't have a personal preference, which is great because a lot of babies are super fussy when it comes to their bottles. They'll only take a certain kind, and if you try and switch them, it's a big mess. So I'm lucky that she likes all of them because we have a ton of all of them so it works out great. Currently the bottles that she's using though are the Playtex Nursers, Play Playtex Nurser bottles. This is the old style. They actually have a Ventair one that kind of tilts now. 
I much prefer this because the other one, we had the Ventair ones and they leaked constantly. And I've actually never had a problem with these. So these are the eight ounce, but it's really convenient. It has a, a lid and a collar and I carry around a Ziploc bag with the drop-ins and the nipples. So the drop-in just looks like this. You can buy it. We happen to buy the Babies R Us brand because they have like the hard bottom to them. The Playtex one that comes with the drop-ins are very flimsy. So it actually takes more water, the Playtex one, but I much prefer the Babies R Us. So these come sterile, so you don't have to worry about them. I keep them in a clean Ziploc bag. All you do is um, drop it in like that. It's level with the thing. You fill it up with water. You get a nipple. We have different various sizes of nipples. This one has to be happens to be a fast flow, so it has like a an open, a bigger opening, and you um, put it in the collar. So really simple. You put it back on the bottle. Now I'm not going to give her this bottle because my hands aren't clean. I'm just showing you guys. The cool thing about this lid is when you put it on the bottle. I don't know if you guys can see. It collapses the nipple, so when you have your water and formula in here, you can just shake it like this. You don't have to put your finger over the nipple, so if you just shake the formula like this, and it's very sanitary, and I, that's why I love this bottle. And another reason that I love it is because all I have to take is this, some extra nipples, some drop-ins, and the bottle, and that's it, versus... You know, she'll take four to five bottles a day. If I'm out the entire day, I'll have to pack five bottles plus water. This is just so much easier for me. So this has been what we've been currently using, but we do alternate the other bottles as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention in this pack, we also have a couple of spoons. She does eat solids. Um, these are just the even flow little spoons they're cute and this is another little spoon I'm not too picky on the spoons and neither is she and usually what I'll do is I homemade baby food so if you want to know if you want to see how I make organic homemade baby food let me know in the comments down below I'd be happy to do a video for you guys but I will take like a frozen little cube or a couple cubes and put it in a ziploc um, container like a clear storage container and I will take it with us and usually by the time she's ready to eat it'll be defrosted and that's how I'll take her baby food. Okay so sometimes I will take this container too. You can see it has formula like I took it yesterday. Um, this is just a little formula storage container. You turn to where your, your uh, formula is. You open this and then you put it over your bottle and it will deposit amount, the amount of form formula that you need. Of course you have to put the amount that you need in each compartment. Sometimes I'll take this. It only holds three bottles, so it depends on how long I'm going to be gone. Because if I'm going to be gone longer than three bottles worth, then, you know, I'll have to take an entire can. So I also have an entire can in here of formula. Right now she's on the Similac Total Comfort for Discomfort. She was on this when she was first born, and it didn't, didn't seem to settle that great with her. But then again, she was a you know, an infant, so a lot of things didn't settle that great with her. Then we switched her over to the Gerber Good Start Soothe. And that was really great until one night we had to get something in a pinch and they, the store that we went to was out of Gerber Sue's so we went back to this and she's been on it ever since. She hasn't had any problems so this will probably be what she stays on until she goes to whole milk. I also happen to have this little container here that can hold a pacifier or nipples. Um, it only holds two nipples so I try not to use this. I much prefer the clean bag because I usually will carry, you know, ten nipples with me at a time versus just two. But this is nice, like a little carrier thing in case you just need a couple nipples. I have a burp cloth. This is actually a burp cloth that we got from the hospital. Right now it's dirty because we have baby food. Like now that she has baby food, it actually gets stained, whereas before the milk wouldn't stain it. So white is not the best option to go with when you have baby food, let me just tell you. I have a couple of toys. Um, this is like probably her favorite thing to play with because it makes that crunchy noise. It, it can be... Um, kind of strapped to their stroller or car seat. It's just a little book. It has um, some animals in it, but what she really likes is the noise. I got this from Carter's. This too, she really likes like anything that rattles. This is just like a cheapy little toy. I think it's from the dollar store. I picked it up in like a pinch. She really likes it though. This she got for the baby shower. It's um, just a little elephant and it has a teether on the end. This teether I really like because she can actually hold it and put it in her mouth whereas the big teethers are just too big for her mouth and they're overwhelming and she likes to hold the little stuffed animal too. I have a couple of 
bibs, I think just two of them. And again, they're all stained up because baby food just <laughs> stains way worse than milk. So these are just like newborn infant um, little bibs. You can see how tiny this is. She's starting to grow out of them. And actually right now I have a ton of outfits just simply because she was <laughs> throwing up like crazy last week and I, it was just nuts. So I had extra outfits in here in case we went somewhere and she had accidents, you know, vomiting profusely projectile vomiting accidents. So here's a onesie. These are all three to nine month. Like this is a three to nine month onesie. It fits her perfectly fine. This one is um, a three month onesie and it's getting a little tiny for her. I mean, she's seven months. Come on. But if they still fit, I do let her wear them. This one too. This one's six months. It's a pink onesie. I have a little cover up if she's wearing like dresses or whatever and it gets chilly for her if we're in a restaurant. And then I have a little pair of jeans and a pair of black pants. And in her pants, she's in size three months still, so <laughs> go figure. Oh, in the bottom, I have another rattle. She loves this rattle because it makes a lot of noise. And then I have a pair of shoes. These are a size one shoe. It's like the only pair that she has that fits her. She seems to have a really tiny foot. And what's funny about these shoes is they were actually my shoes as a baby. Isn't that neat? You can tell like they're pretty old. <laughs> 27 years old. That's crazy. So I thought these were really cute. My mom saved them for me for so many years and they fit her really nicely. In fact, she was wearing these in our family pictures. Okay, so that's it for the main compartment. You can see here. The inside is like that cleanable, slick material and it has a bunch of mesh pockets all around the outside. So there's two big ones on each side and one small one on each inner side. So in the first big pocket, I have these. These are amazing. These are actually pacifier wipes, but you can clean bottles, toys, cups, anything like that. I got these from HEB. They smell really nice and they're safe for a baby to put them in their mouth. It says that they're 100% food grade, so that makes me feel much better knowing that they're consumable. All this stuff is not necessary. I don't even know why I have it in here. I packed it when she was very tiny, and I honestly have never used it, but I always remember being with my best friend Heidi, and her little girl had a poop explosion in uh, Nordstrom, and some baby soap would have been awesome. So I have the Dr. Smith's. This is the zinc oxide diaper rash. This is awesome, awesome stuff. Highly recommend if you're a new parent. This diaper rash cream is amazing. And then I have the little travel to go Johnson's products. So the baby wash, the baby shampoo, and you can see this stuff's not even open. The lotion and the powder. Again, you never know when you're going to need stuff like this. In the next pouch, I have a couple more emergency things. I have another baby lotion, which Lord knows why I have two of them. And then I have four packs of these Infamil Gentle Ease Infant Formula. These are just like those um, packs. I think we got them from the hospital. They're just travel packs. And I have these just in desperate, desperate times because I almost always, I, I mean, I actually always have formula, so that's not the problem. But just in case I don't, I have these to be on the safe side. I also have a pack of the Germ X Soft Wipes just in case I have the antibacterial soap, but you know, just in case. I also, funny thing, I still have some Lansano nursing pads. I never really had to use these. I never leaked that much, but I had them in here in case of emergencies. And then I also have this little tiny pouch I got from Target, the dollar section of Target a while back. And I have some band-aids in here with some alcohol pads because, again, with children, you never know when you're going to need a little emergency kit. I don't have anything on one of the side pockets. On the other one, I have these two things. This is empty. I need to refill it, but it is the little um, trash bag holder from pretty much anywhere. I need to, like I said, refill it. These are great. Like, if you're at a friend's house and you don't want to put a smelly diaper in their trash can, you can bust out one of your trash bags and put it there. As you can see, I use it all the time because it's empty. And then this is a funny little contraption. This is actually a formula whisk, which it's by Munch Munchkin. We got it from Babies R Us. I think it was like four or five dollars. But you can see here, it's literally a whisk. And when we first started using the Similac formula, it didn't mix very well. So we bought this to mix it. <laughs> and it seemed to work a lot better when you mixed it like that. And I just haven't taken this thing out because I don't use it anymore. I shake the bottle vigorously and it works just fine. But this is awesome if you're having trouble getting your formula to mix. 
this works great. In the next pocket, I have some Johnson's hand and face wipes. These are great too because this kind of gives your baby like a refresher in case you need like a cleanup. Like let's say they throw up on themselves and you can't give them a bath right now, you're in public. These have a great scent to them and you can just kind of, yeah, they smell very fresh and clean. You can kind of wipe your baby down so they don't smell like vomit. I have some nice statin cream. This is actually a fun antifungal cream. This can be good for a cradle cap. I never used it. My brother and sister-in-law gave this to me. They used it on, on my nephew. I was just too scared to use it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I let her cradle crap, 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 cradle, crate, what? Cradle cap go away on its own. It probably took an extra three months to go away. But I don't care. I would have rather it gone away naturally versus putting a cream. That was just me. But I had it in here, you know, in case of emergencies, I guess. A lot of this stuff is in case of emergency. And then I happen to have a pacifier. This is the MAM pacifier that came with the MAM bottles. It's super dirty. And as I said, I would never have given it to her because I. it has a clip and everything. She just never took a pacifier. And then the last compartment that I have in here has like some other necessities. I have some A&D ointment, which this I love this stuff too for um, diaper rash. It's very sensitive on their bottoms. It's not as, it's more like a jelly versus a cream. So you can use this more frequently than the cream because the cream is a little bit stronger. I have a pack of princess tissues. Emmy gave this to me again. I have one in my purse too. Again, you never know. And then last but not least, I have these portable changer pads. So this is a disposable changer pad, it's Princess, <laughs> we have these from Babies R Us. You can put this down on anything, and I've never had to use it because I always have my changer pad, but just in case like we ever had to change her in a pinch and it was a nasty area or something, I would have used one of these to just so I can toss it away. Okay, so that was all that was in my diaper bag, and I wanted to show you real quick my changing pad. This is from Target. It is the only girly one that they have there. I really, really like this. My grandma got this for us for the baby shower and I just have never left it at home since. So it's great, it has a zipper on the outside if you wanna put, you know, creams or whatever. I have some, what do I have in here? Alcohol pads, this I had for when we were cleaning her belly button before it fell off so you can see how long they've been in there. But again, if she had any type of scrape or anything, I could bust out the alcohol. And then the inside, it just Velcros, it has, a changing pad here. This changing pad is actually detachable, so you could just take the changing pad. You wouldn't have to take the entire thing if you wanted to. I always leave it attached, but you can definitely detach it if you want. I have another travel pack of Pampers wipes in here. We usually use the Kirkland brand, sometimes the Pampers sensitive Huggies. It really doesn't matter. I'm not too picky on the wipes. She's not sensitive to any of them. So it has this mesh thing to hold the Pampers right there. And then up here I have some diapers. I also have one of the trash bags in case I need it and a pack of the uh, travel thing of the Dr. Smith's zinc oxide. The diapers that we use are the Pampers, um, I think these are the little movers. Right now she's in a size 3. These are really great. I like them. So anywho, that was a very long video. I'm so sorry, but I know a bunch of you are interested in what was in my diaper bag, what I carry. Um, now that she's a bit older, I am going to take some stuff out. I just bought her these sippy cups that have straws. So um, this will be in there in place of probably her bottle that has water in it and just like some other stuff I'll probably be taking out to make it lighter on myself. The older they get, the less that they need. Anywho, that's done and over with. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know some of the things that you guys carry in your diaper bags if you're mommies or let me know if this helped you <laughs> know what to carry in the future. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know again what you thought in the comments down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye!